I've spent enough time looking at these mediocre Okay, signs. there we go. There we, you know what, Matt? Yeah, we have to the... spend more time looking at the mediocre play. Oh, uh, we're going to the hero and the Bowser. Immediately two of them going to go for it right now. These two spent a lot of time in quarantine. And, you know, these two are the best of friends, I think. Well, listen, Jimmy. Here at the meta, we don't often have a chance to see either of these players on stream for long. This is probably the only opportunity in a long time they'll have for so much spotlight. Let's see if they can make the most of it as we start off this set on Midgar. All right, all right. Here we go. Starting off with the Crackle Smash into the Zoom. Match just pressing that down B button and pressing A immediately afterwards. Press, listen, mashing the A button indiscriminately, mashing the B button indiscriminately, it does not matter. All right, the Psych Up going to take it, though. Here we go. Trying to just kill off, kill off that time. Just got to be careful, though, because, you know, a forward smash, especially if it crits, is going to is going to shield break. The bounce, though, I don't think, does that affect the, does that affect uh, Leviathan stuff? It will not. It's not going to help too much. All right, but here we go. The side B going to throw him off. But, uh, who do we got? Oh, that's Dylan. Dylan. The, the, uh, the commissioner himself on the playing field. He's rolling on through. And the combination of a, of the, uh, of the homing attack into the into the up B gun take 57%. The side B again, just really just waiting that out. I like that patience. Up up air. We're seeing fundamentals. See? These well, players look, are good. When he doesn't have good spacing or a good combo game, you have to do something. And the items are doing a lot of something right now. <laughs> I think so. But here we go. The back air. He could have not gonna take it, but here we go. Forward smash. Yep, gonna take it immediately. Despite the fact being heavy, he does have that range though. Yeah, a bit unfortunate with unfamiliarity with the shield button, but Snooze doesn't go through shield, no. so you'll be fine if you just sit there. All right, but there you go. Another Snooze not going to take it just yet, though. Definitely would have been Curtains for Speedy D if that was going to happen. The Whack not going to take it. That's not Pong. He don't, he, Speedy actually has good luck. Oh, my goodness. He tried to go for the Hatchet Man. A valiant effort. I'm here for it. I like it. I, I like the attempt. We have the stage switch to Saffron City, and I thought I was going to be the happiest man in the building because of it, but no, Hungry Nuggy's looking astounded. <laughs> I like the parry and the flat. I'm going to ignore that entire thing just happened. I'm just going to ignore that that just happened. Going to immediately zoom. I like the attempt, but nobody home. You know, it's really impressive when you try to charge a smash attack beneath the platform, expecting someone to land through it. And there's the back shield actually working this time. Here we go. Acceleratal. It rhymes with Dreidel. Let's see if Matt's going to be able to keep away and build up something. Oh, boy. Hello. And but just as Saffron City giveth, Saffron City taketh. <sighs> Matt popping off for his SD. For the first time ever, we had their own player pop off for their own SD as opposed to their... As opposed to, you know, the person who gets the benefit from it. You know, even though the commissioner did make a, uh, a bit of a silly rule set, you still have to play the game right. Uh, at, at least you have two games at minimum to uh, fix that up for yourself. Uh, yeah. SDing is not a way to win in Smash Brothers. But here we go, guys. Game number two, where are we going to start? Again, uh Congo Falls. Seeming to be the typical start for these games and immediately going for the menu select. Yep, first sizzle. Got to take it. But here we go. Good combo game. All right, try to read a go through the platform. All right, I like your moxie. Might as well mash out what you can. Yep. <laughs> here we go. The side B. Going to throw him off. Ah, fair. Going to get an early kill within the tw first 20 seconds of the game. Speedy D is really trying to get into finals. Forward throw. The whack, not going to take it yet. Here we go, side B again. <laughs> Just, oh my god, so much mileage off of that. Yeah, one thing that's worth taking note of is that when you have the oomph buff as hero, you're actually taking more knockback, so. Interesting. It I is a bit of a dangerous call if you're in the middle of getting mashed on recklessly. Oh, And talking no! about recklessly, forward smash clears out a hero and a and smash ball. But it won't matter at all. Thwack away your problems. It's a 2-1 stock count. It is. Here we go. Forward, back air into the side B. Here comes the bang, though. But guess what? There's Again, the energy drink crash. It's all that matter of just really hoping hard that your opponent loses sight of safety and lands on your smash attack. Yeah. It's a lot of that. It's a lot of that right now. You know, really good reads from Speedy D and, and Hungry Nuggies, you know? Imagine just how like smart that could be, but here we go the the dragoon. Here we go. He's. I don't actually know where he went. I think he managed to. He's go. gonna he's gonna end the set on the kamikaze. I already know it. That time I think he clanged into the blast zone. No, he was in the barrel. 
You either shot from the barrel. One way or another, he died on his own accord. Not content with letting Speedy take the kill. Dylan currently trying to coach his son right now. But personally, that man is going to get buried more than Daniel P Pewter did right after he won Tough Enough. Oh, and now we see the character that's supposedly been practiced and oh. is actually on the poster. And Speedy D immediately saying, you know what? I really enjoy Hero. Three. All oh. right, starting things off in the Mishima Dojo. Let's see if the disrespect pick manages to work out. Uh, probably not, you know, considering the fact that, you know, what's probably going to happen is Speedy's going to immediately lose all his momentum and proceed to get reverse 3 0 Wow, you write a pretty uh, grim script. I did. <laughs> oh, oh she's adorable. so cute. Oh, and she's almost dead. Yeah, she is. Okay, she's back. The bumper. Oh. We'll be seeing you. That's a very early stock lead. You know, the problem with trying to disrespect your opponent by picking into their character, at least it's predicated on the idea that you know how to play Smash well enough to compensate for not knowing the character. Yeah, I have never seen the speedy hero. In and fact, after this game, I don't know if we will again. Uh, probably. Here we go, side B again. Here comes the zoom, and immediately bonks his head on the uh, on the ceiling. Yeah, there happens to be a ceiling in the way of the stage. That's the gimmick. Fun walls, but here we go, the forward smash. Got it. That's definitely going to save here. Here comes the snooth. No. Right out the other wall, and I really don't what? know what he bounced off of. Yeah, I'm just as confused. What are you doing? Getting hit. Okay, Amelie catches the uh, the capsule. Oh, and reads the roll, gets the the final smash. I think he wanted to uh, unlock the other stock, but it's okay. It evens up the count regardless. Oh boy, that's uh -oh. a lot of hyper bombs. Nuh uh though. That's gonna suck for someone, and, and that someone speedy. is speedy. And we're going to go into mementos. What song are we getting? All right, we're going to Persona Five mementos. So that means a pretty good song. Beneath Never the mask, mind. The Smash version. Yeah. I actually really like this mix. Yeah, it's okay. That's all right. Only one of us needs to have good taste. Yeah, exactly. What? <laughs> so tell me, Chem, do you know the name of that assist trophy? I am not getting hit with that on the live microphone. Oh, it's but gone. it got hit with the the crit, was it? Uh, yeah, I look, look like a crit forward smash. All right, side B. I like it. F tilt off of the top. Tries to throw out the whack, not going to take it just yet, but the down air, yeah, that thing kind of just does your taxes low-key. But here we go. Do you have any more one-liners for that one? Uh, There's a lot of things in this game that do our taxes. Here we go, the bees, Wicker Man, Nicolas Cage, Maximilian, dude, are you watching? Forward Smash not going to hit just yet, though. He All hit right. his toe. And the hero did about as well as expected, and we have the 2-1 count. The hero did as well as Hungry Nuggies' this hero, clearly. Just switch back. Just switch back to the. Just switch back to literally any. Actually, no, I'm not going to say that. Speedy can hear me. He's be like, okay, time to go cloud. Time to go Ike. Oh, hey, listen. If he wants to lose with other characters, he's more than welcome to. But right now, he's content with the Bowser. He's scared. He's he's nervous now. I can I see that face. He's oh. So no. He wants to try to prove a point by losing with two characters he doesn't play. <laughs> Pyramithra against Incineroar, regardless of stage, is going to offer a very unfortunate matchup. But it is Woohoo Island where we start things off for this game four. Yep, here we go. Nair into the jab combo. I was expecting a side B because, you know, grapplers always say, is command grab in neutral? Neutral? There it is! <laughs> Foresight, not the not uh, as I like to call it. Ooh, and Gray great. Fox! There's a lot of sword slashes going on on this field right now. Mm-hmm. And a bit of a precarious place for it to happen as well. The bridge switch moving right. away, but we have the revenge buff. Into the dash attack. Not going to just do much out of that, but Gray Fox is down, just like in canon. Unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. The death sight, though. No punish. Foresight again. All right. Both in the death percent of the death sight. You have to hit him with a smash attack, guys. Thank you. All right, 109%. Here we go, though. Ente! Sacred fire! Wee! Oh. You, you really... You are so lucky, good sir. Oh, and Midden is on the field now. Emilia gets need, though. All right, let's see what kind of uh, control she offers. Won't be seeing it on that stock, though. No. 
Making quick work of the incinerator. Uh, that is Matt. That is Paper Matt's. He's got a mash. He's good at that. Oh, is he good at mash enough? Yes, he will. Here we go, though. The Pyra going to go back to Mithra. Forward throw him off into, into the Mishima Dojo Part 2. Get it? Because it's a volcano. Yeah. In case you guys don't know about the Tekken lore. Here we go. We got... Uh, oh, look at that. Paul, Paul did Mac. manage to make it into the semifinals. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad you made that joke and not me. <laughs> We're going to Arena Ferox, and Chesspin is here to play. Seed Bomb covering the center stage, but it's not doing too much. All right. Both even percentages. Oh, I stand corrected. The final bout of Seed Bomb managing to cover the field. Yep, side B whiff. Both of them just whiffing right now. Here we go, though. Assist trophy. Wow, that hit through the stage. You know, a crucial part of uh, swinging is making sure your opponent is actually in front of you when you swing. All right, back suplex city, bitch. Not going to kill just yet, though. We All right, let's trap time. We put a jetpack on the incinerator. <laughs> that, okay, that one's actually kind of scary. Yeah, no, now we've got something to worry about. But thankfully, the stage is large, so we don't have much for Speedy to worry about. Yep. A launch star placed, though. That could be a bit of a concern. Uh, that sent him at, like, the softest angle. But here we go. All right. F-Tilt. It's a real game now. Oh, my God. What are you doing? What are you? Yep. All right. So... For all of the smack talk that Speedy D has delivered over the past couple of weeks, you'd expect the play to match up to it. But right. this game five, I don't know, Jimmy. This one's yours, isn't he? No, he's Bartex. Oh, good for you. You don't have to claim this loss. Exactly. I don't have to claim shit. <laughs> all right. Well, the Bowser's coming back up. <laughs> Speedy D, he's trying to lose with his main if he's going to lose tonight. I, give, I put respect on that. Remember, Bartek, this is your kid on my stage. Here, so. we, here we go. Drop down there, though. Immediately jumping into the Bowser, though. Great parry. All right. He's got the buttons to prove that the Bowser pick was definitely worth it. And the tough guy to drop kick him from, from over here. But here we go. Keldio. Oh, that's going to be a big hit. That's a big hit. Not going to kill just yet, though. D Dominance Revolt. Yeah. Not going to take it just yet. And that is a furry Bowser now. Ooh. And a dead waifu. All right. Keldio offering a lot of control to this stage. Turns out there's just nowhere to run when it's a flat piece of land. <laughs> All right. I like the use of the uh, green shell. Here we go. I think the green shell's gone now. I like the reed trying to call out that down B. But here we go. Going into the Mithra, the speedier one out of it. And also has uh, cheating. With yeah? the foresight, with the foresight, the not uh the sassy. Ah, very interesting. Yes, it's fun. It's very fun, especially when you're playing against it. You know, you get a you get a good multi jam, and all of a sudden, not uh, but not uh to that stock. Stage looking like a very unfortunate place to be for uh, for hungry nuggies. Oh, oh my God, he's just gonna just use it. I would switch to Pyra right now just to and get out. Ultimate has become a point-and-click adventure for Speedy D as he manages to find the mark with Final Smash. Gets the 60%. Gets the, 60 the dash tech, he just stood there. D Charity? Hey, listen, at the very least, like, no DI is a little bit better than bad DI? I mean, that dash tech does hit like a truck. So is that forward smash, but only if you hit it. Yeah, Matt's been trying. But, uh, again, he needs to have his opponent in front of him to actually make the uh, hits matter. Yep. But here we go. Going into, into Picto Chat. And we're going out of Picto Chat. <laughs> a game five just barely won by Speedy. And I think there was an attempt to hug. Oh, there we go. T take two. Take two. All right. They eventually got it right. That's my son. Only when he wins. He's Bartex if he loses.